Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Retro Christmas for December 2nd. Uh, this game here is a retro game, and I'm gonna be playing 24 of those all the way up until Christmas. Uh, the game to, we are playing today is Die Hard for the Turbo Graphics 16, or the PC Engine as it's called. Uh, this is a Japanese game, only came out in Japan, um, and we're gonna take a look at it. See, the graphics seem very nice from this sort of intro. And die on it. Then we have the Nakatomi building. And let's press the run button to go. It's a little bit different from the movie, to say the least. Uh, first of all, we're not starting out in the building. We're starting out in the park below. Uh, park in front of the building, saying something in Japanese that I don't understand. Move around, got a ridiculously high jump. And punch, and now I have a machine gun. Ho ho ho. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit strange starting, not starting in the building, uh, but starting in the park below. Um, still, have, still has his shoes on. So that's alright. Uh, the roof shooting us for some reason. I'm a cop, you idiot! I'm also a cop, you idiot! Oh, now I have a machine gun, ho ho ho! And yeah, it's not quite how I remember the movie. I guess maybe the developers they kind of saw the movie Commando and someone told them that this was Die Hard and. Uh, yeah, enemies jumping over unreasonably large sinkholes in the middle of the park. So moving on up, Bruce is saying something. Japanese, I can't read. But I assume he's wondering why he's down here killing all these cops. These military guys. But of course, it is a video game, you know, there was only, uh, now I have a machine gun, ho ho ho. There was only like six or ten guys in the, the Die Hard movie, and, uh, oh, what's here, it's a garden shed? Garden shed full of dudes, just hanging out. Now I got a bulletproof vest, ho ho ho. Whoop, sinkhole appearing all of a sudden. I've got a grenade launcher, ho ho ho. But, um... Got another garden shed here. More enemies just hanging around, waiting to get shot. Now i got a health kit, ho ho ho. Didn't really need it, still got my bulletproof vests. So yeah, it's not a very difficult game as you can see. Uh, getting plenty of pickups and uh, enemies only take one shot to, to, to go down. These kind of still images between uh, between levels are really nice. Get this, guess they spent all the budget on this. Ah, another familiar scene from the movie, The Bridge. Oh, sorry, it's like a swamp, isn't it? The Missouri Swamp right in front of Nagatomi Plala. Plala, Pla, blah, 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 blah. Today. I got a machine gun, ho, ho, ho. Um. Kill all these cops? Well, I guess it's supposed to be one of the guys who, who dressed up as a cop. Or was it a security guard? He dressed up as like a security guard, didn't he? I should watch Die Hard again. It's a great Christmas movie. So we've got like an enemy meter at the bottom. Uh, maybe that's supposed to be uh, 
to be a health bar or something for a boss. Uh, but it just appears with one icon whenever enemies appear. Despite there being two or three enemies. Oh, Coke. A Coca-Cola moment. Get into the garden shit up here. Getting too much damage. And now it's sort of like bleeding a little bit. That's a nice effect in it. And there. Not bleeding anyway. Maul put his shirt back on. But that's a mainstay of the of the Die Hard movie that he always looks completely beat up when the movie's over. Got another garden shed here, is it? Oh, it's the end of the stage. Stage two, two clear. Hopefully, we can get into the plaza now. Oh, we're starting from the basement. It's a strange place. Oh well. I gotta get through the basement. Probably, is what he said. I don't know. And go back down. Guess we have to go this way. Just an empty room. Probably what he's saying. Let's jump over that one. Another grenade launcher. Doing pretty well with those. Oh, I forgot. Kind of had to jump to to get those enemies on the ledges. What door should we take? Let's take the first one. See where that takes us. I do see some enemies dropping machine guns, but uh, let's stick with the grenade launcher for now. To be doing all right. Well, it's not really machine guns that dropping, it's most assault rifle and submachine guns, but you know... Bruce Wills couldn't tell the difference in the movie, so, so why should I be able to? Let's try this door now. Something something. Let's move past that door and then try one of these. Oh, gotta get that coke! Was it supposed to be a beer? This world seems more, seems more like a bear person. Something something. What if I'm taking him in circles and he's just complaining about that? I would too. If I had to play this game, which I am. So yeah, it's not a super fun game. It's serviceable, and you shoot guys, and you it's vaguely die-hard related. But some of the other die-hard games are really terrible. I think the best die-hard game is probably uh, Die Hard Arcade, uh, which was called Dynamite, Dynamite Cup in Japan. That's a great game. It's just kind of... Uh, Running around shooting dudes, picking up things like guns and health, shooting more dudes. I think I'm walking in circles here. Let's try this door now. See if that takes us anywhere. A room with some guys in it. We've got this submachine gun. Let's try walking this way, see if that makes a difference. And then circle back and see if I can get the correct way. Walking in circles, get a grenade launcher, ho ho ho. Walking in circles, that's the extra room. I might got some health in there. Okay, 
pick that up. It's a great gun. Not the right, I bet that's not the right way, is it? Maybe. Just boog it. In there. Hopefully, we got some health. Got shotgun enemies. Ho ho ho, now I got a flamethrower. I wonder if that's going to do me any good. Seems like an alright weapon. Kind of like just dump at enemies. I'm going the wrong way, probably, is what he's saying. Ah, sweet, sweet health. Is complaining if it's the wrong way would probably be easier to play if I knew any Japanese. Looks slightly different, maybe. Jumped right into that hole, jumped right into that hole. Wow, that's disturbing portrait. And I have to start the basement completely over. Right, that's enough of that game. Uh, Die Hard for the PC Engine. Not a very good game. Um, kind of boring, repetitive actually. So yeah, I definitely did not advise against picking this one up. Uh, but we'll find something more fun to play tomorrow. Until then, have a great day. Bye!